Euro Naval 2018, Naval Group is showcasing four major naval defense innovations. The Digital Combat Bridge, the Surface Ship Design Lab, the SMX-31 Concept Submarine, and the Next Generation CIC for Submarines. Welcome in uh, our bridge. We are on, uh, currently on a frigate, on board a frigate, sailing along coast. As you know, along the coast, ships are under asymmetric threat. And it's a very difficult uh, threat to manage because of the visibility around the ship, especially a stern where there is no visibility on a current uh, frigate. The main benefit of the digital combat bridge for a ship's crew is to have a 360 degree night vision around the ship to manage any kind of operation inside the visual sphere of the ship. It is truly an innovation. This system is not available on the market and will be for the first time available on the FTI in 2023. Another system on our Naval Group booth to support innovation is the Surface Ship Design Lab. In this system, we will show to our customer that we are taken into, we are, we take into account is operational requirement from the early stage of the design of the ship. And then we will apply a lot of innovation we are working on uh, to uh, fulfill his operational requirement for subject of tomorrow and today concerning uh, warship at sea. The aim of this system is to uh, provide the process that we are following in Naval Group to fulfill the operational needs of our customer. So we take into account these uh, operational requirements and then we will study and provide innovation to uh, answer the best way the challenges of today and tomorrow of all navies. This is SMX-31, the concept ship that we unveiled at Euro Naval 2018. We need to prepare the future and our concept ships are very important to imagine what are the future operational concepts and what we need to do with our research and development process to prepare today the technologies for tomorrow. Three main characteristics to remember with SMX-31. Stealth, endurance, invulnerability. Stealth with the materials first and with the shape, as you can notice. Endurance, it's thanks to a very huge battery capacity and a solid smart management system. And for invulnerability, it's robustness, it's redundancy, it's the use of a shield around the submarine. We are presenting here the Smart Ops Room. This is the name of the control rooms of our submarine from, from Naval Group. This is a, a real innovation for our submarines because here we are presenting how to increase the efficiency of the crew by collaborative means and by reducing the time for decision making. The main innovation is the gathering of all the data from the different sources in the submarine from the sonar, from the navigation system, from the noise monitoring system. All is gathered according to the operator needs, according to the mission, so that the right data is displayed at the right place for the right decision. And it is possible because Naval Group masters all the different subsystems of the submarine. We are building the submarine, we master the platform management system. We are building the combat management system and we master all the subsystems. So we are able to gather the data and to display the data according to the operator needs. And this is really an innovation. The main benefit is the operational efficiency. And the, so the decision is better and quicker as on other systems. And the second benefit is to reduce the time needed for operator training. So it's uh, already uh, available here. This is a product and this is not concept chief. So in the future, underwater ops will become more and more complex. 
submarines will have to treat more and more data coming from their own powerful sensors and also from external means such as drones or connectivity, connectivity with the naval force because submarine will be more connected, uh, of course. To conduct such operations, captain will have to be helped by new systems relying on artificial intelligence, for example, voice and motion recognition. Officer will operate immersive bubbles with augmented reality to navigate safely at periscopic depth or in very shallow waters. They are also available to operate drones. This submerged control station will be operated by a reduced crew, but man is always in the loop.